What's going on guys, Ryan with Gentle Patrol, back with another video! Today, not this guy, because I just unboxed and reviewed this guy. So check that video out after this one. Today, Spider Gwen's in the house. Let's check her out. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. We're gonna to be checking out the Hot Toys Spider-Gwen and Spider-Ham. And I am super, super excited about this. I, I am beyond excited about getting our Miles from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse figure from Hot Toys, which very well may be very soon. So I know, at least me, I was like, why'd they release this one? And then this one, kind of weird. But I think we're gonna see Miles from Spider-Verse soon so we'll see about that um but anyways uh this particular figure is absolutely fantastic and we'll definitely pose her up and we'll we'll pose them together and that kind of stuff but for right now miles i'm going to ask you to exit uh stage right so let's uh let's check out uh gwen stacy here this thing looks fantastic it is a tall box i don't have uh the miles box but the, it's a tall box like the miles box is like a normal six scale box this one's rather tall and we'll have to find out why. Uh, but check out the box art. It is freaking mm, good. All right, check this box art out, guys. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Gwen MMS 576. I mean, just look at all of this awesomeness. You've got, like, the, the effects going on there. Man, Spider-Ham rocking and rolling. Look at this thing. Spider Gwen on the side, Spider Ham at there at the bottom of the city. Actually, the upside down, so it's like the top of the city. But check out the Spider Gwen. The box art is insane. And then on the back, we get like this ginormous kingpin, which honestly just looks like, I mean, it looks like he did in the film, right? He was just a black square uh, with a little tiny head. And uh, it actually uh, was pretty cool in the film. But hopefully, uh, may maybe we'll, I, no, we probably won't get. We probably won't get a, uh, a kingpin from the film, but Spider-Man into Spider-Verse. Let's check this out uh, and see what it's all about. It is a, a an interesting slip, slip cover because it's got like this diagonal cuts on the top and the bottom. But uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Get her out of there and see what's going on underneath. I mean, look how tall this is. There's your figure. So we'll deal with that. And uh, I mean, got the stand below. Usually the stand is underneath the figure. This time they put the stand like below the figure. It's kind of weird. Uh, but there she is right there with her head sculpt, which I'm super excited about. And then just like with the Miles figure, we've got a whole bunch of artwork uh, and uh, switch outs they put on the back of the box, which I think looks fantastic. So we got this backdrop design. Generally don't use those, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll break it out for you guys. I don't know. Um, We'll see. They, and they actually, look, they have a story on the back of the box. They never do that. Spider -Man, it says uh, it's Spider Man. Let's see here. I'll zoom in so you guys can just read along with me. I really don't ever. I'm not even going to read it. If you want to read it, pause the video. Um, but that's what's on the back uh, of the box. So there you go. If you want to read it, you can pause that. So let's get back out of here and let's open up this box and see what this is all about. All right, looks like we got some effects and stuff in the bags. So we'll see how those play along in the video later on. And we get this ginormous. I mean, look how look, look, how, look how tall this thing is. Like for my display, it doesn't work. Uh, I don't think. Uh, but you know, whatever. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's check this out. Everybody wants to see the figure anyway. So let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Oh, sorry, I almost missed that because the hands are white. Uh, we got an accessory tray with some hands. So we need to get those out of here. All right. Woo, all right, look at all this stuff. We've got physics book. We've got, looks like a switch out for the head for the neck uh, or, or the uh, the hood or no hood. We got spider ham on the top. We got eyelet chain uh, switches or uh, switch outs. We got a compact. We got a cell phone with a selfie on it. That's pretty cool. Mask and uh, a Spider Verse logo and then a little display stand for Spider Ham. So let's get all this stuff out of here. 
I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've got all the accessories out here, but let me let me let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. I took a few minutes to put together this diorama backdrop. I like it. I don't know. It definitely won't fit in a detail for anybody wondering about that. It's too freaking tall. Um, and it may be too wide. I don't know. I like it. I think because of the animated style of this particular figure and obviously the, the upcoming Miles figure, I think it works. I don't know how I would use it in my particular display because I got Spider-Verse things going crazy. Um... But this, I'm going to call it right now, this is the best diorama backdrop Hot Toys has ever done. It, re it really is quite good. Uh, so it's got a couple of pieces. It's got this uh, plastic thing that uh, says, boom, this is for Spider-Ham. If anybody wants to see that, it looks like there. It's got two little uh, slits in here. It's got feet, if you will. We'll stand. Uh, it's got a couple inserts. Uh, this is an insert right here. It says crack. We got boom. And I think we got wo uh, whoosh. I think that's what that says. I'm trying to read that backwards. Um, it's quite large. I don't have my measuring tape in here. I would tell you, but it, it's it's t this. Why the box was so tall? It's it's large. Um, an idea of scale. I guess I've got I got Tom Holland here. I got boom scale wise. I mean it's it's fairly tall. Yes, he's missing a hand for purposes you will see uh, in a minute. Um, and there's a water bottle. So I wanted to say that uh, I actually quite like this. Uh, and you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. But uh, I think the backdrop is pretty cool. Um, and I, and uh, yeah, I just figured I'd show that. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm actually shocked that I liked it. Uh, but I wanted to show it to you anyways. Because I said I would. So let me get this out of here. The backdrop being as large as it is, uh, I, it has on the bottom there's parts that bend. Uh, and there's tape. That you're supposed to tape that down. I have no plans of doing that because I don't know if I'm actually going to display this yet or not or where. And uh, if I want to take it apart, I don't want to be dealing with, with that. So I'm just going to place that right there for right now. And we'll take a look at the figure and accessories and all the goodies uh, that it actually comes with. So let's, uh, let's kind of zoom on down if we can. Here is the base for the Spider-Verse figure. So we got our Spider-Man Spider into the Spider-Verse logo. We've got our backdrop city with the cross uh, hatching like that we had with the uh, with comics and actually in the film. So like kind of almost like uh, all the little dots. Uh, and uh, it just looks really, really good. It says Gwen Stacy right there. Um, and yeah, I think they did a good job with it. It's a white stand, which is different. I mean, we don't typically see white stands. And the other thing that I really am a little off are put off by is the white dynamic stand and I, because it's a black figure and i feel like it's gonna stand out uh and i don't if it was black i feel like it would be uh, more readily hidden in the display so there's that uh, but you know it comes with one and then it comes with the black grabber which makes sense for the black suit so i i don't know that's kind of this weird design choices all around on that um, but whatever, I guess it is what it is because of the base. But there's the base for those interested in that. We are going to get, I'm going to put the head sculpt over there for a second. Anybody who has ever seen the Spider-Man figure, in fact, you just watched the Miles Morales video I just uh, released yesterday. These are the exact same webs we've seen with every Spider-Man figure uh, for the past couple years. We got our, you know, grabbing one. We got our little funnel, you know, attaching to stuff web. And uh, it, it's their webs. I'm not even going to. You go over there. So the stuff you're actually going to be interested in uh, is uh, maybe the physics book. Maybe the physics book is something you'd be interested in. Uh, and I do, and I'll put it up on the screen. I was able to scan by, with my uh, with my iPhone. I was able to scan this. These are actually just instructions for those wondering. And uh, that's what's actually printed in there. So there's the book. The book. Uh, we've got a bunch of eyelets again. So we've got some wide open ones that are actually already on the figure. I'm going to try and do this. These are super small, guys. Uh, uh, they are magnetic. Let's see if I can do this backwards. I don't know if which one's left or right or whatever because I got them kind of mixed up. Uh, but they are quite, quite small. But on the larger one, but check out the gradient. Nice gradient from like a 
sky blue to a translucent pinkish color right there. And uh, I think they did a pretty good job on those. We get a compact that she was using with Miles. You can actually see there's actually a little foil uh, attached to it. I don't think there's anything on the back. And uh, it's like a dark, like dark, dark, dark blue uh, color. And then we get a cell phone, which we've seen before, that actually has Miles and, uh, and Gwen taking a little selfie. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. On the back, there's absolutely nothing, uh, but that's that's pretty nice. It actually looks like a uh, a screen grab from the film. That's actually what it looks like. So I think they did a good job with that. And then I, want, I wanted to show this because it, we have a brand new type of body uh, with the Spider Verse figures: uh, lean, skinny, a little smaller. And I figured I'd show you. This is a normal six scale peg, and this is the peg we have. Uh, for this particular figure, and I just figured it'd be interesting to check out the scale difference if I even can. Uh, but there's the scale difference on the bodies for anybody who has a six scale figure used to these pegs, uh, the wrist pegs, and there's the scale difference for you guys who might be interested, which is why uh, old uh, Tom Holland's missing a hand. I thought you might be interested in that. We do have a mask that you can uh, actually remove from the figure. We'll take a little closer look at the actual figure here in just a second. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we get a removable. Uh, this is like if, if the hood is down, this just kind of pegs around the, the neck. So that's pretty neat. So there's that nice paint applications on there. And then we get a pile of hands. So we're going to get uh, a uh, crawling hand, if you will. Nice, um, I say like diamond effect. You see that gloss going on there? Nice diamond effect on the hands. The inside's pretty, I mean, it's animated. So there's not a whole lot of detail in there, which makes total sense. But there is a nice little sheen going on there. So we got some crawling hands. We got some thwipping hands. We actually have two sets of thwipping hands. So one would be used without the webs, without the web shooters. And if you flip these over, uh, one has the web shooters attached to it. So this is how you would attach the web. There's a uh, slot right there for those. Uh, and then these don't. So depending if you're going to display the webs or no webs, you got two sets of those, which is pretty nice. We get a hand for the compact or the book. So we get that. Uh, we get a hand for the cell phone. Got to be able to hold the phone. We get a web holding hand. It's got the hole in it. We've seen those before. And then we've got another, uh, I guess, cell phone or uh, attachment holding hand. Uh, maybe it, you can hold the book, you know, whatever it is. So another hand for that. So uh, that's a pile of stuff that we've got with this figure. And uh, now let's take a look at the figure. Look how good this looks. Seriously. Seriously. Look how good this looks. Obviously, this is with the hood up. This is a, a molded piece. This is not a soft piece. So you actually pull that off and put the uh, the other piece on if you like. But look at this. This uh, this cross hatching, this diamond design, I wanna say almost carbon fiber-esque, but it's not like hexagonal, it's more uh, triangles. So uh, it's, it's, but it's got that pattern like everywhere throughout the figure. And then you can see on the actual mask, you can see the shine and glimmer um, that that's given off in the light and obviously in the eyes. But that pattern goes on through the white sections and the black sections. Uh, and then you get this nice little pink and blue, uh, or actually pink and teal uh, web design going on there, which carries over to the back. And then we've got some nice lightning effects going on the back. All to go all the way down here with her teal slippers, if you will. Those are super cool. But I'm really, I really like that. I, honestly, I want to get two of these guys and and one for the mask and one for the just the head sculpt. But this is a total new body for Hot Toys. And I'm actually curious about it. It's actually taller than I thought it would be. Um, it, it, it really is. Uh, I've got old Tom over here missing a hand. Um, just to give you an idea of scale. So there's Tom. And I've got... Oh, I hate to tear up that pose. The the advanced suit Spidey uh, is over there. When, when we get to posing him, I'll I'll do this. But currently, he's in his upside down uh, coffee drinking pose. But I really liked it. I didn't really want to change it up, so I wanted to keep that so I can throw it into display. Uh, but uh, the other one's about yay high. Um, 
So scale wise, they're they're pretty good. Obviously, she's gonna be a lot more skinny and and shorter, but it it looks good. It looks good. I think so. Anyways, uh, but let's go ahead and change out the head sculpt because I know you guys want to see that on the figure. So let's just make that happen. So we should just be able to pop that right off. Oh, that's all one piece. Look at that. Nice. It's all just one piece. Sweet. All right, let's pop this on here. Uh, we're going to need to put that piece on right there. And dude, come on. Good gracious. Look at this. Look at this. Look how good that looks. That is crazy good. Man, I forget. <laughs> Guys, I absolutely love this head sculpt. This is what I'm talking about why I'm needing two of these. This head sculpt is too good to leave in the box. It is really too good to leave in the box. And I wanna, let's see how close I can get, if it'll actually focus. I want you to look at the eyes and the design on the eyes, like the shapes. It's not a normal, like, I mean, it looks straight from the movie, how it's got the, the triangles and uh, different grid in the eyes. Absolutely fantastic. The paint applications on the hair are solid. They look fantastic. The, the mold on it is perfect. All the way around, the coloring is great. The, sh the gradations, and then obviously uh, she had a little accident there with Miles. Um, it looks great. It looks great. I hope you guys agree. Uh, in the comment section down below, you can let me know. So I know somebody's going to say, hey, uh, how do we pose this figure? So let's check it out. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to be careful with the hair going into the suit. You can see the hair is rather sharp. And so if you're maneuvering that hair, you might want to, just throwing this as a suggestion, pose the figure with the head off and then put the figure on and, and have her you know, look in whatever direction you want to, just to be careful. Uh, but that's a thing, it's just a ball joint. Does the neck move? Yeah, so the neck, the neck does move. So that's nice, it's not a, let me stuck there. Is there anything going on here? Yeah, I was just wondering, like this uh, cape, or the hood thing kind of moved around on me. Uh, but yeah, so let's check. All right, so there is, uh, you can't hear it, but there is definitely a ratchet there. There's definitely ratchets there. Uh, the bend on the elbow, double bend on the elbow, no issues there whatsoever. Obviously, if it's a spider figure, we want to be able to do whatever we want. And the suit material is uh, very much yeah, like the uh, Miles Morales that we just unboxed yesterday. So I think this is going to be very, very durable and very pliable and self-healing and that kind of stuff. I think this is going to be uh, quite fantastic. So if we want, let's see here. We do have a, a, a butterfly joint going on in there, so that's nice. Ab crunch. Somewhere in there, I think we might be able to get a little stretch out. There's no ratchets in the abs like with the Miles figures. That would have been a nice touch, but again, this is a brand new body. Don't know whatever we got. So there is definitely a bend here and a bend here. As you can see, she can bend backwards pretty good ways. So that's, I mean, that's not terrible. It's not bad. It's definitely not the uh, uh, the ratchets. All right, so I do know the, the legs are ratcheted at the hip, on the side, to the back, and to the front. Whoa, that's actually a lot higher than up. What the heck? Look how high that leg goes. That's crazy. Crazy. Look at this. That's nuts. You can hear the ratchets there. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Ratcheted knees. Now that's interesting. We didn't see that with Miles. It's just a regular, you know, double jointed knee. Wow, all right. And then obviously we've got our, our slippers going on down here. So now this is all this is all one piece. This is not split like we saw with Miles with his shoes. Uh, so you're gonna have to watch this area in here as you get to posing. Uh, I think if you're too crazy about it, I don't know, that looks pretty, she's broken ankles right there, so that's pretty good. I'm not hearing any ratchets or anything. Definitely no toe articulation, there's nothing going on there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty good on the bottom. If anybody wants to know, no tread cause you know, animated. So what are your thoughts so far? Uh, we're obviously going to have some fun posing her. 
and I can't wait to get uh, Miles in here. But so far, like, I'm quite, quite impressed. Uh, this new body they've got for this animated style, I mean, it, it looks great. Look at his head sculpt. I think it looks great. So let's have some fun. Let's pose this figure up and see what we come up with. I almost forgot Spider-Ham. So uh, he, I had him off to the side. Um, but yeah, check him out. Now, one interesting thing about this, if you look at the pose he's in, he is definitely top heavy and going backwards. Therefore, he needs this uh, little acrylic stand, uh, which actually has like little puddles and stuff on it. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it's actually pretty well done. It's got some weight to it. It's, it's not a posable figure at all. It is definitely just a static deal, but they certainly did not have to include him in the packaging and in either one of the figures. And the fact that they did is amazing. So Hot Toys absolutely knocked it out of the park uh, with the Spider-Verse figures. But check it out. It, it looks just like you would expect. He looks like he just jumped off the screen. The blue is vibrant. The red is vibrant. He's got his hand out. He's got one hand on the hip. And he is just all kinds of awesome. So super happy they did that. And look at, he's got a little... Little curly Q tail going on down back there. This is an awesome, awesome uh, accessory to throw in. I guess not an you know, accessory, additional figure. It's a two pack. I think this is awesome. Let's get into the posing. All right, so I told you guys we would maybe use this backdrop, but I figured for at least one of these, uh, uh, we would do that so you guys can see, you know, what, what it might look like. So I've got a couple different uh weird lighting things going on right this second, but you know, I think it's kind of fun. Uh, so it, the backdrop is extremely. Extremely busy, vibrant, colorful. I think it looks fantastic. I'm a big fan of it. And generally, like I said, I just leave them in the box. I don't even mess with them. Uh, but I'm glad I did for this particular one. So we got Spider-Ham on there. We got Spider-Gwen, uh, Gwen Stacy, hanging out on the uh, on the display. So let's see if we can't uh, take a closer look at her. Uh, and, and I think she looks quite fantastic, honestly. This is a simple pose. Just like a almost walking, posing kind of deal uh, for her. And uh, super simple. I've got a pretty, pretty good bend going on there in that wrist. And the wrist pegs being smaller, be careful. Do not break those things. Uh, they're just, they feel weaker because they're smaller than the other ones. So just, just be careful with those. I can't get past this head sculpt, guys. It is quite something. And I really... Really, really like it. Uh, Spider Ham's down here just going, you know, hey, look at her. She's awesome. And uh, that's what we got going on. So this is just something simple on this backdrop. We're going to get rid of this backdrop, have some fun posing her up, and uh, see what she can do. Probably nobody requested this, but I figured, what the heck? Venom is our latest villain we've got from Hot Toys, and now we have Spider Gwen. So why not do a little size comparison between the two and have them a little little battle action going on. Venom is freaking huge. And Spider-Gwen is not. She is slim, animated, gymnastic-y. Is that a, th that's not a word. I don't know what that means. Anyways, probably better word than that. But anyway, she looks fantastic. Uh, and honestly, they, they don't, they don't pair terribly together uh, because, um, you know, Spider-Verse. It's all good. So I thought this would be pretty fun. I do have Spider-Gwen on uh, a little bit of a mid what's the word? Mid gymnastic spider move. I don't know. I need some more coffee, guys. I don't know what to call it. But anyway, she's on one hand. And uh, if I can tilt this thing down here. She's on one hand. I've got her with a whipping hand out. And she is being supported by that stand. You see what I mean by the white? dynamic stand how it just stands out so much if that thing was freaking black just like every other uh every other dynamic stand we've gotten uh you would not see it as much so i hope that i didn't mean to prove my point that way but it proves my point uh but let's go ahead and uh do some more posing all right guys so something a little bit more dynamic out of spider gwen in a landing pose that is definitely stretched, no doubt about it. It is super, super stretched, uh, as you can see. So uh, laying down, these ground pound poses are a little tough. They, they did, there was some artwork uh, with um, the, the film, and I think there's a, like a, maybe, yeah, I think the artwork, 
uh, of a, a post similar to this where she's like on uh, some graffiti pieces, but uh, that's physically impossible to pull off uh, with this figure, but you can check it out. The head sculpt looks fantastic. The, uh, the shoes, what are those? There's a shoe. So I've literally just the point shoes uh, she's got going on right there. Uh, look pretty good. And so I think this is a, a valid pose for anybody who wants something a little bit more dynamic, lower on the shelf. I think it's a great pose. Let's do another one. All right, guys, here we go with another flying pose with Spider Gwen. Uh, super fun. A couple things I have learned while posing this particular figure. One, the uh, mask hood, I like mask the hood right there on this particular figure likes to ride up kind of like the stormtrooper armor likes to ride up so there's that be mindful of that it's kind of annoying you keep having to press it down if you're manipulating a figure or messing with you know arms or whatever it just kind of it, it moves it's movable put it that way look at the head sculpt guys that's awesome um uh second thing the masked uh head if you will uh, the hood is attached to the head which absolutely limits range of motion uh, on, on like the neck area because of the just the way it's put together. I would have loved to have seen an unhooded um, you know head sculpt to go in here. I think that would have been fantastic but we didn't get one so there's that. The other thing I noticed is uh, the wrist pegs uh, are, are you just be very careful with those. Uh, as changing those out, uh, it, it's um, you don't want to break them, so you're just extra careful. So there's that. Uh, as far as posing wise, it's a dream. Like there's no issues whatsoever. The suit is not a hindrance in the in the slightest bit. It's just it's not. Uh, the double bends everywhere are fantastic. The ratcheted joints are fantastic. The neck movement to allow you some movement uh, in that area is fantastic. I uh, don't have any issues with range of motion with this particular figure. So um, yeah, that's why I wanted to kind of have a little flying, jumping, thwipping pose going on here. And I think it looks pretty stinking good. Um, but there's the back of the head uh, as she uh, rotates around. You see there's like lightning bolts and stuff going on uh, throughout the design of the suit. And the head sculpt is just so freaking good, man. It is so good. I wish, uh, I wish the other Miles was here because it would be fun to pose with that one. But we'll do another pose. Let's roll. All right, guys, let's wrap up this video with a Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales posing uh, section here with, uh, obviously, Spider-Ham down at the bottom. A couple of things to note. Changing the hands on this figure sucks. It straight up sucks. Um, there, there's just no other way around it. Changing the hands sucks. Uh, the wrist pegs and then the hands, like the wrist pegs are just slightly too big for the hands, so you gotta force it on there. And then it's a small animated figure, small body, obviously like a, a, a synthetic material suit, and you're like, oh, dang. So, very stressful changing the hands. Just, just believe me, okay? When you get yours in hand, you will, <laughs> you, when you get yours in hand, no pun intended, you will understand, uh, but, I will tell you, it is a lot of fun. The amount of accessories she has um, makes the posing not as uh, varied, I guess, depending on uh, as the Miles figure, as we're seeing uh, kind of go around here, because Miles has those switch outs. Uh, he has so many accessories, it's kind of crazy. In fact, he even comes with a baby Luke. So that's... You didn't know that, did you? But he's got Spider-Man in his backpack. But uh, we've got Spider-Gwen here, flipping away, doing a little backflip while on the phone. That's how you do it. You, 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 gotta, you, gotta, be on, you gotta be making calls. So that's how it works. And, um, but as posing wise, other than the hands, which are just more difficult than they really should be, uh, at least my copy. Maybe yours won't be that way. Uh, the figure is beautiful. The head sculpt is beautiful. The accessories are fantastic. The colors, the the animated style is fantastic. The backdrop, surprise, actually liked it. So that was cool. And um, I'm very, very happy. And I'm super hyped to actually be getting Miles. Hopefully soon. Like I said, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, man, these two, even these two look good together, I think.
So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know which pose you like best. Uh, let me know your thoughts on um, Spider-Gwen and Venom side by side. Like, that was kind of crazy, right? I thought so. But as these two uh, kind of rotate around, hope you guys, again, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. There is a ridiculous, and I do mean ridiculous, giveaway going on right now with Collector's Own. So uh, I don't want to forget to mention that all through the month of October. Check out my Facebook group. Uh, join Jedi's Patrol. There's a link in there uh, with uh, giveaway information. We're giving away a quarter scale PCS Michael Myers. That giveaway is sponsored by Collector's Own. I just want to make sure we mention that. It goes through the month of October. Uh, details in the Facebook group. And I also have them on Instagram as well. So check that out. Uh, again, don't forget, uh, pick up this figure from Pop Collectibles. Definitely check them out in the description below. Link there for whatever your first and second match needs are. And discount code patrol. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you haven't already. And if you really didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button twice to really get your point across and to let me know how disappointed you are in my video making abilities. As always, click what you like. See you next time. All right, guys, let's wrap up this video with a Miles and Gwen pose. Now, let me tell you, uh, there's a fly on my figure. What the hell? Where the hell did you come from? All right, guys, let's wrap up this. Uh, let's wrap up this video with this Miles and Gwen pose. Uh, what the hell is up with this fly? This, uh.